The overall goal of the Evans Blue Dye and Fitzy Dextrin Common Cardinal Vein Injection is to observe skeletal muscle membrane integrity in live zebrafish to help characterize disease-causing mechanisms related to various subtypes of muscular dystrophy. Evans Blue Dye Injection can help uncover biological mechanisms that contribute to disease pathology when characterizing animal models of muscular dystrophy. It can also contribute to our understanding of potential therapeutic mechanisms for disease treatment. The main advantage of this technique is that it can be carried out and analyzed using live zebrafish. Additionally, the co-injection of Fitzy Dextrin demonstrates a quality control for successful injection, which improves rigor and quantification. The implications of this technique relate to the utility and validation of zebrafish models of muscle disease. They also enhance the understanding of how certain mutations lead to muscle disease phenotypes, such as muscular dystrophy, which is critical for finding treatments and cures. To prepare agar injection plates, boil 2-3% agarose in E3 medium and allow the solution to cool slightly on the bench. Pour about 35 milliliters of the cooled agarose into each 100 millimeter dish. Then place one end of a preferred injection mold into the solution before laying the remainder of the mold onto the agarose solution. Allow the agarose solution to solidify either at room temperature or at 4 degrees Celsius, for about 30 minutes. Then use a spatula to separate one end of the mold from the solid agarose and slowly remove the remainder of the mold.